What's good with my Eagle gang members? It's your boy, Cali Eagle. And the first time ever without the Eagle paraphernalia, but I'm still banging. So it's all good. Whew, it's been a cool minute since I did one of these, but ain't, ain't nothing really happened, bro. I mean, I could have been doing, you know, draft predictions, but I don't watch college football. I'm not going to sit here playing with y'all, but we the day before now, and I can't wait to see who we get. Um, they've been talking about on, on the network today that uh, – if we get a receiver in the top three, the Eagles are saying that they're, they're going to be willing to trade Nelson Aguilar. We, we've already been paying a decent amount. Of, we already paid Alshon out the gate. We just got D-Jax. We're paying enough money towards receiver that they're willing to trade him. I can understand it. We do got to pay a quarterback. If we don't have that $10 million somewhere, it's easy. But... Without Aguilar, bro, our receiving core is just not that dope. Like, we got a, a, a aging Djax who, when he loses a step, it's bad because then what is he doing? And we got Alshon Jeffrey still. Granted, we, we got the tight ends. I understand we can run double tight and then the slot does become replaceable. But Aguilar has been has come along great. And, and since we have a guy in DJX who is aging, it'd be, it makes way more sense to keep him around. Cause I feel like he could play the outside position at this point in his career. If we ask him to go out there and be the outside receiver, you don't think he can get it done. I've seen him catch a few deep balls. His hands have come along magnificently since them two first years have gone away. When the offense was sputtering for a lot of reasons that isn't out Nelson Aguilar. He's been solid. I mean, you can say, oh, he was getting a lot of catches and he wasn't getting a lot of volume early in the year. I mean, he plays slot receiver. There's not a lot of deep routes. Plus, Alshon Jeffrey was gone. We didn't have no other receiver for real. We had Zach Ertz, but no running game. All the passing lanes was clogged up. There's a defender right next to him every time he was catching the ball. He was just making contested catches on a regular basis, if you ask me, which is... Worth noting when you look at that. I'd hate to see him go. I, I, I can get the business reasons they, they, they say of why they might do something like that, but it, it, we don't look better doing that. Like, I'd be way happier hearing the Eagles went and got an offensive lineman or they went and got the best safety than hearing the Eagles went and got a receiver, but then they traded us an Aguilar. So now we're bringing in another rookie to to B. Nelson. Come on, B. But we're going to see. Like I said, speculation. You don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully, you know, keep the guy. Go ahead and get a new tackle. Come back with a premier old line. A, a, a nice duel of, of, of Jordan Howard who, who fixes all the short yardage issues we had last year. Corey Clement's healthy again. We'll see how uh, Josh Adams progresses in year two. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of speed, a lot of breakaway. We hit. People forget because how bad he was short yardage, how he was the most productive running back we had last season. Like, uh, I'm good off Smallwood. I can't put faith in the name like Smallwood. I can't do it. I can't do it. So we're we, we going to see what happens, bro. Uh, we getting closer to figuring out this picture, what this offense is going to look like, what our defense is going to look like. Whoo, bird game.